what up so Connors? we received a data download on global this is obviously for the anniversary because we've got 575 megabytes worth of goodness in today's video we're going to be covering the content of the data download we're going to talk about what is coming up spoiler alert there is no official confirmation yet on when the banners themselves will be releasing i will be doing a separate video for that later on but now let's jump in big shout out to my boy proton for all things data download information follow my twitter at proton 10 mg okay thank you we got the promo movie we got the spirit bomb z spirit bomb gt we got agl go tanks piccolo we got the shenrons all the summonable units are here they are finally here their fully translated assets are all in the game all we're waiting on is basically that phantom data download that gives us the timestamp and everything we've got the anniversary cards we've got the new story event growth event challenge events extreme z battles tickets and trade jewels so let's go through all of this stuff promo movie i don't need to watch that you guys will obviously see that we're also waiting for the animations on twitter so maybe that'll drop tonight maybe that'll drop tomorrow we'll have to wait and see this is what we've got right now for the placeholder dates so this is not the actual release date anyone with a brain can figure this out january 1st 2038 is very clearly not the release date for these units this is a placeholder so shout out to proton for leaving placeholder in there because you know some people are going to be like oh global l this is, this is not supposed to be dropping in 15 years i want stones this is just going to be a placeholder later on we'll get some sort of data download that gives us the appropriate uh release date why they do this i don't know exactly i'm not a you know software engineer guy or programmer or whatever i don't know but that's what they all got uh then we've got the actual collectible eight anniversary login so this unit the goku spirit bomb is going to be releasing at the same time as the two free-to-play units during the anniversary july 6th 5 p.m pdt this is the official start of the eight-year anniversary celebration so bookmark that in your calendars whatever whatever time zone you're in that day's reset is when the celebration will begin july 6th 5 p.m pdt make sure you guys figure you know do the math and figure out where that is for you it's just simply reset so when the celebration begins these three will be available as will the vegeto and the boo but they will be a little bit later on in the week so let's go through their exact times uh hercule and babadi are both obtainable because they are obtainable from the story events that are going to be coming up during part one so the first four stages for each of these story events will be available, allowing you to obtain Bobbity from stage one of this event, Hercule from stage four of this event, and then some like support memories and stuff. Uh, then we've got the intensive training Goku offense and defense. This is a stone heavy event that's actually pretty fun uh, from what I've seen on JP. So Goku will be basically, you know, launching a bunch of attacks. You have to survive it. And then you'll also be having like wave after wave of Gokus that you have to fight or something like that. But this is going to be dropping. All the, these events are going to be dropping here. The Pilaf, uh, Pilaf event for the power of wishes skill orbs that's going to be this one ultimate speed battle so this is a big win for global because originally i thought that they were going to be taking this away from us but the countdown celebration speed battle that was there for jp mysteriously was not there for global so i thought that we were going to be missing out on this which means my stone count video would have been wrong which made me very sad which by the way go check it out because i am still very much right the speed battle has simply been shifted from the countdown into part one so it is just going to be listed among all of these different events which means the stones that we're earning from that video are still intact go check out that video i'm going to link that in the pinned comment for you guys to go check out then we've got the uh, spear bomb events for the majin buu and the omega shonen and the first three stages of the shadow dragons event so these are the two challenge events that are going to be taking over the meta these days the shadow dragons one only really gets tough in part three the first three stages are the easier ones so this will be releasing during part one and then for the spirit bomb one both events will be available right away and uh, for this one, there are going to be some missions. I think the missions will also be available from the start. I'm not exactly sure, but if they are, I will be doing videos for all of that content. So you can look out for that. It's going to be awesome. I will be live streaming when the celebration begins and we'll be running through all of this stuff. The story events for the first four stages are available. Category bonus. It already shows you here. Earthbred fighters, worthy rivals, worldwide chaos. Then we've got the extreme Z battle for the super Vegito and the super boo. Both category weaknesses are here. I will do a team building prep guide video for these two easy as when they drop. But it's only going to be dropping five days after the celebration begins. So July 11th at 5 p.m. PDT is when this EZA or both these EZAs will be releasing. Five days after the start of the celebration. So initially, what you're basically going to be doing is running through the new challenge events without the anniversary units or with them, depending on you know when you actually start them. Doing the daily events, the limited events, the story events. There's going to be a lot of stuff to keep you occupied. And then five days later, the anniversary EZAs will start to kick in with the first part being these two. That pretty much rounds out the data download. We've got the tickets. I'm going to be definitely needing these tickets for some thumbnails coming up. We got the rainbow tickets. We got the 77 special summon tickets, which by the way, those missions will be starting when the celebration begins. Extreme Z tickets. This is exclusive to the global like peel off trove packs. 
Uh, don't buy these. These are generally advised to avoid. Uh, these will give you a non-stone way to summon for easy, easy A banners that can give you the Super Boo or the Super Vegito. I would advise that you don't spend on this unless you're a whale. And then the last thing are the trade jewels. So this is the free red stone that you get during these celebrations. This will give you access to one unit. And then there will be a premium purple stone that can be obtainable from the Pilafs Trove when you buy Dragon Stones. Look out for a video where I go through what are some of the best units to buy with each of these. This one's free, this one's not, but there are some good units among the bunch. So we will talk about that in a separate video. That pretty much rounds out the data download. Now, once again, the unit's actual release will not be revealed as of yet, but based on years past, it typically takes about a day, but I will do a separate video for that one. But now I wanna talk about what is going on in the game itself. There's two things that I wanna comment on. Number one is that the Hercule growth badges should be farmed out. If you guys have not been doing the free Elder Kai grinds whenever I point them out, for some reason, they have reset the shop for the Hercule badges. I don't know exactly what the cause is for this, uh, maybe somebody can elaborate. Uh, maybe there was something that I just straight up missed. But during my live stream earlier today, I was running through. And then when the day reset, actually not even when the day reset, when the data download came in, these two Kais suddenly magically appeared in the Hercule Bad shop. Now for me, I am farming Elder Kais every time they show up. Anytime there's a story event available where you can farm Kais, I do them immediately and I get them. So the Gourmet Chocolate was already done. The Hercule badges was already done, but for some reason it came back. I don't know why. I don't know what caused it, but hey, I'm not going to say no to free Kai's. So if you guys have not done so and you have a bunch of stamina to spare or a bunch of meat that you want to use, feel free to farm out these two Kai's, more Kai's, more responsible Dokoning. This is why I always am. I'm always loaded with Kai's because I'm always farming them out wherever I possibly can do it. So little little pro tip there. Shout out to my tunes in my stream who pointed that out for me because of you guys. I would not have noticed as soon as I did. So thank you guys, thank you. Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about is the returning player campaign. This has been an ongoing thing for the last couple of days. They have been commenting on it. I haven't said a word on it, but we have already obliterated the all of the goals, the normal goals. So step one through seven, we have completed. So you've probably obtained a few extra stones here and there. We are now on the EX step. So if we complete this, we're currently at 72,000 as of this update. But if we can get to 100,000 before, I don't know when it gets updated next, but what, if we can get this, which we should, when the celebration begins, I would imagine we'll probably get the rest. We will get two more Kai's and a special sticker. So more stones, add these to your running total. Make sure you guys go check out the Dragonstone count video, which goes through everything, all the stones that you could possibly get. It also factors in these. So subtract some of these if you are trying to calculate how many stones you're going to get, because we've already gotten some of these right now. And there you have it. That is your full update on the global side of the game. Another Phantom data download will drop sometime before the anniversary starts, probably around the time that the Twitter animation reveals kick in. And then we will know exactly when the banners are going to be dropping. But still look out for another video regarding that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments how excited you are on a scale of 1 to 10 for the upcoming anniversary, even if you're not too thrilled about the summonable units themselves. How excited are you for this anniversary, strictly in terms of how many stones we're going to be getting? 1,200 stones-ish? That's a pretty good number. And that's a pretty good reason to be excited for this celebration. So let me know your overall excitement level. Let me know how many stones you got in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan content of the future and click the notification bell so that you let you know when to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll to Dokkan responsibly.